Here we are for the coach's office, round 19. Very excited to be here with Mark Neal, senior coach of the Melbourne Football Club. Hello, Neil. Robo, how are you going? <laughs> now, Robo, just at the start of things, mm. need to ask you something, given this is the coach's office and you are a coach. Yes. Now, I actually did a little bit of investigating myself on the weekend. I actually happened to pop down to a local little country town called Lara you were on there. the weekend. Now, the interesting thing that uh, I found, that <laughs> back oval at Lara is where... St. Joseph's and Lara warmed up at the same time prior Correct. to their GFL clash. Correct. So that was terrific. The one thing I learnt was interesting that the uh, player coach for St. Joseph's, instead of joining the rest of his team for the warm-up, had personal masseur just giving him a little <laughs> bit of rub on the legs well away from the main group and then proceeded, having watched 21 of his other players do a group warm-up together without him, decided that he needed to warm up on his own uh, well away from the group, had a massage hey. and then jogged in. Now, uh, Russell, that person uh, in question, you, yeah. explain that I'm part of coaching I'm doing theory. what is very important for this football team and getting myself ready uh, to go in my own way. It's, I can't do what the young kids used they do. I'm just, I'm Mate, you're the coach. Give something to the group. I was not having a That's massage. That poor was... girl did not get the opportunity to give anyone else... <laughs> A massage, let alone a drink well, or a towel. What worries me is you actually know that I was getting a It's the truth. I was getting a massage. You walked up next to the netball court, so I was down there watching my daughter play a great win by the St. Joseph's girls over Lara. I was, and then I happened to say, what's going what on is here? that man doing? <laughs> Did right, you stay now, and watch the game? No. I, did you, a, you didn't no, stay and watch the game? I couldn't. I had an appointment to stick needles in my eyes. So you would have I seen. that option as opposed to watching you play footy. <laughs> now, so that's what I noticed. Now, the other thing, mate, our game, in all seriousness, look, the first quarter we can probably... A um, little bit frustrating on the scoreboard, but the first quarter we can we can cop that because North Melbourne, their, their ball movement was really slick and we're, you know, we're in the middle of developing some mm. type of defensive unit through our young players, and we just couldn't handle it. But the yep. ball, our defensive indicators also said that um, we put in a really good effort. Uh, second quarter uh, was even on the scoreboard, or we might have been slightly in front, and the effort was really there. I was really pleased. Yep. I was very, very disappointed. Uh, we were all really disappointed with the third quarter. Yep. It was not AFL. Like it, we may be a developing team, we get that, but don't think for one minute that we are. You know, we're sitting back, happy to accept the effort where our. Uh, work rate with the football and without the football was well below standard yep. and uh, people get angry when that happens, uh, supporters have every right to be upset mm -hmm. uh, when we put out those types of efforts and we're not going to shy away from that mm -hmm. uh, it was a blunt message at three quarter time regarding pure effort, yep. in, in the last quarter the boys did uh, lift their effort rating, you know we're at a stage where we are delivering in most games two to three quarters of reasonable football, competitive football. Yep. Uh, people keep asking, you know, why it is that you know, we can't. Our, our, our reality is that only on one occasion this year have we fielded uh, on the ground a more experienced team than our opposition. Yep. Uh, we realise that we are developing a, a new game style. That was, we realizing that was against GWS. That was we did. We realise that we are in a development phase, but, you know, just pleased to the supporters. We love the support that you're getting and we understand yeah. the frustration when the yeah. third quarter stuff is dealt up, but we are working very diff uh, very hard on it, but yeah. understand. Which know, is good, which is good. Inexperienced developing. Now, we've got some questions we from do. the people. Phil Holling in this asks, is the senior leadership group of players experienced enough and strong enough to improve the culture and ability of the team? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the senior leadership group uh, I've got great faith in and they're doing a wonderful job. They are... And they're strong-minded people. They certainly have some goals that they wish to achieve for themselves and for the whole group. Absolutely. And the, the one thing that you mentioned there is experience. Uh, the, yeah, they're the leadership group of the Melbourne Footy Club. Uh, all lists are different. We have a really inexperienced list at our footy club. Uh, those boys are strong and they are certainly, after a long time to you know, be voted in, they are the best eight leaders mm. at our football club, and it's important that you know they have been chosen uh, to lead our footy club. We're not anyone else's list. We are what we are, and you know they're they're going to mould into a really good AFL leadership group. David Neitz was my captain for a lot of years. When he first got the job, he wasn't ready, and he quite openly said that. But he learnt mm. as time went by and became a really really good. Uh, as captain of this football club, and that's what these guys will be too, I'm sure. Kick on the G this weekend after the yeah, game. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, get down there and uh, 
jump on the MCG after the boys have been on it. It's a good thing to do. You, used to, you would have done that when you were a would kid. Would have done it. Great initiative by the club and the MCC yep. uh, to allow people out in the ground. So for all those Melbourne supporters that are going to get along and support, the, support our group, uh, against the Gold Coast Suns, make sure you stay around after the ground, after the game, and take that experience. On's great, fantastic. Thanks very much, Neil. Right, thanks again. Same Terrific. Mate. Lovely no to see you.